in America right now, someone has the misfortune to welcome our current London mayor, Sadiq Khan. We told you about him recently trying to spend thousands of pounds tearing down statues in the name of historical consequence and of course changing names, streets, all of that sort of stuff here in our beautiful city of London. It's mesmerising, as a lot of people are saying, how he managed to get voted back in for a second term. But, as ever, some people managed to do this. Now Sadiq is over in America, trying to apparently bang the drum to get people to come back over to London. If you saw the stabbings, the crime rate, and of course, all the activism that he's allowing on the streets, including Insulate Britain, and of course, uh, Extinction Rebellion, who would wish to come to this particular capital? Well, according to, get this, Sadiq Khan, our current London mayor, it's not his fault. It never is. But whose is it? Hi, good morning. Neil Sean here in the heart of London. Thank you so much as ever. Nice to have your company today. And as ever, thank you for all your kind comments about the recent videos. Yes, I thoroughly enjoyed the uh, state opening of Parliament. Take no notice of the naysayers. Didn't Prince Charles do a great job? I thought he did his mother incredibly proud. Must have been daunting. And of course, let's not forget Prince William, his very first time at the state opening of Parliament. I thought he looked a little bit nervous, to be honest. He knows what's coming, but of course he will have our uh, support. And of course it's nice, isn't it, that he has the support of his grandmother back in Windsor, keeping an eye over them both. <laughs> Must have been terrifying, don't you think? <laughs> back as ever though to your story of the day. What the, this particular story has made me smile in a sense is, as you know, Sadiq Khan, as I've said, is over in America right now trying to drum up support to get people to come back here to the United Kingdom and holiday. But apparently it's not his fault why people have uh, decided not to come here. Yes, as ever, never Sadiq's fault, right? Ever, ever, ever. Nothing to do with him, it's always cuts, costs, all that sort of stuff. And as ever, we have to say, allegedly. But now he's blaming the former 45th President of the United States, Donald Trump. He says that when he attacked him publicly on social media, then of course, you know, he got more abuse on social media and that made it incredibly difficult. Now cast your mind back to this. That's right, that gimp that was allowed to flow over the skies of London when the President of the United States arrived in our capital city. It could have been stopped. There was one person that could have actually stopped that. You've guessed it, right, the Mayor of London. He had the right to say, no, you're not allowed to float it. It's in bad taste. He's here to meet our gracious majesty, the Queen. Let's show some respect. He didn't bother. So like a big crybaby, as the game is, of course, he allowed this. Now, I'm not political either way, but when you look at these two grown men, how daft are they? You know, first of all, Sadiq Khan, he should not have allowed that to go up in the air, simply because, of course, it just looks bad form. For Donald Trump, yes, he should have reined in those social media attacks, but people know what he's about. And the bigger person really would have just stepped back and ignored it, because obviously that's fueled, and then that gets more attention. But of course, Sadiq Khan's trying to deflect really from the problems that are truly hitting the capital city right now. Rising crime, stabbings, and of course, masses of loss of income, and his spend on all of his own events. If you looked at the PR spend from City Hall, you would be amazed exactly what the London Mayor does to promote one person. Yes, himself. Moving forward, was Donald truly to blame for all the abuse that Sadiq Khan got? Well, I'll leave it up for you to decide, but truly, for people who live here in the capital city, we feel that like Sadiq's doing a fine job making himself disliked all by himself. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.